Hello everyone, Tammy again. And so in this video of Klondike off of the Facebook game application areas, we're going to be talking about the friends list and visiting your friends and extensions on your farm area. So first of all, we're going to go down here and we have our friends list right here. Now, when you're looking at your friends list, you'll see that you have these golden shovels in the corners of them. This means that they are playing the game. Some of them have, may have already reached their limit for friends visiting them, so it'll tell you, and you just move on to your next friend. Now, if you come to where some don't have a little emblem next to them, they're not playing the game, or they may... It, it may be that they're at their limit too. So let's go and we'll visit them. First of all, when you hover over a person, you'll have I need pop up and they'll be like, well, I need some of this. So if you have it, I mean, it'll tell you how much you have if you hover over it so you can see if you can send them anything. So like say, okay, I've got 70 raspberries. I'm going to click on that and I can send them about five or ten or you know I could click on it but then it will take full screen off and put you at a normal screen and then you have to blow it back up again so all you have to do is put the amount and you send the gift and boom they get it all right now you can click on them you can gift them visit them or hire them so I don't really hire people right off the bat. It just depends on if I need something done right now or not. Uh, so let's go visit them. And when you visit somebody, it'll put a check mark. And I'll tell you, nothing to dig out in this territory. Each friend's territory has 300 treasures to dig out every day. So this person's already reached their limit. So next time, we'll go to it. So. Uh, let's go visit another person, see if they reach their limit. Now, when you go to each one, um, you can, you have all these right here. You have five of your spades and pickaxes. So you can go through and you use all five. And sometimes you'll get an additional one, so you get to work some more at it. And you do get collections that are sent to your home. So we'll use one more. Oh, it gave me another one. Let's do another one. Okay. So now that we've done that, you have the chance of hitting it again. And you're using a gold one now. Now your gold ones are extra uses. I will not use them until I hit a gold ore vein. Now hopefully uh, while visiting... I can find someone that I can find a gold vein with. Um, and which, you know, they're random. You know, you never know when you're going to find one, but you just have to keep clicking and finding things that you can use them on. And of course, I'm not finding one. So I get another one. Let's try one of these. Sometimes you can get them on the greenhouses here. Oh, got another one. <laughs> Been lucky with this one. Oh, no more on this one. So, okay, well, anyways, when you get a, when you find a gold ore um, batch that it will illuminate and glow and glow with gold. And my goodness, I'm just having no luck with some of these. So, maybe? Anyways, um, a quick thing, too, is when you go to visit somebody, you have to be careful on how you visit them, like, right away, because you have an unneighbor ex, which can take the person off from being your neighbor, like, right away, and then you, like, feel terrible because you accidentally hit that. Um, so... All right, now back to what I was saying about the neighbors. 
are the uh, the gold veins, vines, veins. Yep, veins. <laughs> okay, so with the gold veins, you have to hire that person in order for you to um, be able to do the vein itself. So I wish I could get a gold vein here soon. <laughs> But you have to make sure that you have room at your home in order to get them, uh, you know, to leave their area, to hire them in order to get the vein out. And that's when, you know, comes in all the, uh, the golden, yeah, and I'll tell you once you collected a thing too. So, and you do collect energy, and it's just added to your energy at home as well, so. But that's basically all about visiting people. Um, you also can hire people to take their eggs as well. So, um, what we're going to do is, I'm going to use Deb, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click hire. So, I'm going to hire her for an hour. All right, so now that she's gone, I can start clicking on the eggs here. And I just leveled. Nice. So I got another plus one to my energy, 25,000 and one gem. And I also get chamomiles here, cupids. Nice, cool. All right, so I did that. I'm gonna click on these real quick to use my. Oh, awesome! Here we go. We found a gold vein, guys. So we're gonna keep on digging it. See how it illuminates. Now you have the opportunity. If you don't have the room to um, hire somebody, you'll have to go back home. And when you go back home, you will go to some of your houses and you will click on them and it'll tell you who's all there. You have the option to click on them and have them quit working for you. That way you can go back and you can hire this person and remember where that gold vein was at. And hopefully it's still there when you go click on that spot. And yeah, you do end up... Some of these can last for a while. Okay, so now it's done. Now I'm going to go back to clicking some eggs. Look at the kitty cat. Cute. But there's like a limit on, you know, collecting eggs or whatnot. So, um, I'll just do it a couple more times. But you do get to collect a lot of collections items off of these as well. Okay, so now that I was able to finally show you something about, um, you know, the uh, gold vein. Sorry, guys. I just kind of like, my brain dead there for a minute. So, anyways, when you go through, if you've already, you know, had people working for you, they'll pop up like this. It's huge. It's different from the other ones. So this is one of my workers and this is one of my workers. You can go through and go to those people that you have already working for you and check for gold veins. But remember, you have five of them, uh, five tasks that you can do before you run out if you don't have any golden things. And like I say, save the golden actions for gold veins. So like I'm down to six right now, so we're going to go back home. All right, so that we're back home. Now remember, eggs are going to be all over your place, so make sure that uh, you can move stuff around to get to them. And that way, you know, it just makes it easier. All right, so now the extensions that I'm going to get to is like right here. It'll tell you, you get 500 experience and you need cable nails and beams. Well, the beams you can do out of your furniture factory, and they'll tell you right here where you can get them at. So, um, yeah, I just need to make these two, which 
70 nails, 55 beams, and 15 cables. Not that bad. So it'll open it up so where you can clear all this out. And then once you get there, you can get to this point. Um, so you can get to this point up here. And like I said, up here, this extension up here, you have to buy this. So I'm not really sure the mountaintop, 70 gems. So I would have to save up to 70 gems in order to get this because I'm not going to put money into this game. <laughs> I've already done it to several games already. And my main one is RuneScape and I pay yearly for that. So I think that's about it it that I need to cover. If there's anything else that you guys need covering, let me know. Um, I know one thing when you travel, uh, most of the things, like you have your team and your cargo, your team, it'll tell you everything. I have it set to where they're automatically fed. So you make your porridge and everything else, the dog food and whatnot, in your barn um that there you know everything's taken care of um and then like you can go to other places i th i think i'll just do a, a video on that too so um we're gonna do the map maps in the next video so all right guys well again thank you for watching give me a thumbs up below if this helped you and i will see you guys in the next video bye